The breakthrough will not come in being passive and isolated. The breakthrough will come is in when you decide to get up from your low bar, David. The breakthrough will come in when you decide that I have lost everything, but I'm not going to stay here. Endurance is about getting from A to B to Z. It's about small victories. It's about small victories. And I want to let somebody know today, sometimes we're waiting on the bigger victory. Sometimes we're waiting on the bigger boat, bigger ship. But I'm going to encourage you, family, to start celebrating small victories. In the name of Jesus, I want to encourage you to start celebrating small victories. Small victories that lead, that build up to the bigger, bigger breakthrough, the, the bigger sphere, the bigger platforms. I remember when I was when I was when I when I was coming up as a, as a, as, a, as a young artist and so on. And I remember the things that I went through and the many things that were against me to try and just and to, to, to neutralize and to poison what God wanted. And you know one of the things that that got me through through some of my darkest moments. It was Thanksgiving, finding finding a way to say thank you, Jesus. I mean, I mean, you did, you didn't, did, you've not done it, God. You've not done it yet in the way how I'm believing you for. But, but, but in the meantime, you, you, you have. have, 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 have I see. I remember the the, the, the the ten lepers when the Lord said to the ten lepers, "Go and show yourself to the priest." When the Lord said, "Go and show yourself to the priest," nothing. You didn't see anything yet big. But as they kept walking, that, that's when the healing began to unfold. And it's interesting that some of us don't understand that, that God is not going to bless us sitting down. Sometimes we have to, sometimes I want to encourage somebody online right now that, that, that the breakthrough will, won't come with you being passive. You see, waiting in God is not passive. Waiting in God is putting ourselves in a preparative posture until he, be, he does what he wants to do. Somebody put hallelujah on the page. Somebody put hallelujah on the page. So this is about being thankful in the small moments until the bigger breakthrough comes. I want somebody to put a, to raise up a hallelujah on this page for me. I know, I know a lot of you guys might not see the thing that you're waiting on and believing God for. But in the meantime, he says, go and show Show yourself to the priest and, he's, and as those lepers begin to walk as they began to walk every step was a breakthrough every step was a transformation the breakthrough will not come in being passive and isolated the breakthrough will come in, in when you decide to get up from your low bar David the breakthrough will come in when you decide that I have lost everything but I'm not gonna stay here weeks ago I said to you what has the Lord said to you what has the what is the last word the Lord gave to you then that is the word you need to walk on until you hear him speak again and until you hear him speak continue to work that word and continue to work the written word of God you see let me tell you something it was with every step that the lepers got healed and sometimes we just need to come out of that place of isolation and begin to make some move of faith the Lord simply wants us to shift from our place of, of, of passiveness and shift into a place like we are believing, like we really want a breakthrough. You understand? Even though you lost the job, even though you, some of you guys have not lost the job, but, but you're going through so many things in different areas. And the Lord is saying, waiting on the Lord is not being passive. Waiting on the Lord is not being folding your hands, crossing your legs and say, God, you move when you're ready to move. And I move until you move. No, 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 no. The Lord is waiting on somebody to send out an email, send out a resume. The Lord is saying to you, if you want it, how bad do you need this? The Lord said to the ten lepers, go show yourself to the priest. And as they kept on walking, my God, as, as they kept on walking, the healing began to break forth. This is for somebody. I need you to keep on walking. I need you to not give up too soon. Listen to me. Sometimes we, we give up too early. Woo! Sometimes we give up too early. Sometimes we give up too early. The woman with the issue of blood, she kept saying to herself, if I but touch the hem of his garment, I shall be made whole. If I but touch, if I but touch the hem of his garment, I'm going to be made whole. My encouragement to you is be careful of giving up too early. Be, be careful of stopping too soon. My God, my God, my God. I want to encourage somebody in the name of Jesus. Be careful 
of stopping too soon because the moment you stop might be the very next step you need to take to get into the intersection where God is moving in the name of Jesus and you miss it. You can't give up now. You cannot give up now. And the enemy uses scenario to try and convince us that we, even though you have accomplished much, he tries to convince us that we have not accomplished anything. Don't trivialize your process. The woman with the issue of blood said, if I but touch the hem of his garment, I shall be made whole. I'm going to be made whole. And, but, and she kept saying it to herself. I, I, want, I want somebody who is online to, to say to yourself, say to yourself, say to yourself, say something to yourself that you believe in, that you believe in the Lord for. Say something to yourself. I know, I know, I know, I, I know, I, I know all the feelings in your belly is kicking and screaming and saying to you, I don't need you to believe. I don't want you to say anything right now because nothing around you is, is, is convincing that God is doing anything. But what I want you to do right now is say to yourself say to yourself just like the woman with the issue of blood sometimes we need to learn to celebrate ourselves when nobody celebrates us sometimes we need to recognize that there is value to this journey and i need to learn to celebrate and bring value to what i'm going through until others see the value sometimes we have to learn to slap our hand on our own forehead and say this there is something good coming out of this you sometimes you need to put your hand on your own chest and say to yourself something good is coming out of this God does not make mistakes in the name of Jesus. Sometimes we allow the attitude of people to define the value of our process in the name of Jesus. And so if they don't give attention, then we don't feel as if we're valuable. We don't feel as if what we're going through and what we're doing has any value. Well, let me tell you something. For years, Kevin Downsville had to celebrate and had to, had to learn how to bring value to himself before one person clapped when he went on stage. I, was, I remember one point when I, had, when I, start, when I, when I started many shows. They said, welcome on stage Kevin Downswell nobody who is that who is this guy who is this Kevin who Kevin what and I went on that stage and sang like it was the only five minutes I had in my life do not trivialize what God is doing inside of you. What is going on inside of you is a great work. For God is doing a work in you. Nehemiah, do not come off of that wall until it's done. In the name of Jesus, you might have a tool in one hand and a sword in another. But the Lord said, don't come off of that wall until that wall is finished. I know men like Tobias and Sambalat might laugh at you and might want to feel as if there's nothing. Why are you doing this? Why don't you just curse God and die? Hallelujah. Job said, Job's wife said to him, but let me tell you something. Him. If it's you alone that celebrate you, then you alone celebrate you until the crowd sees what's inside of you. Do you understand who you are? The Lord said before you were born in your mother's womb, I knew you, I ordained you. Hallelujah, Jesus Christ. The process that is happening inside of you is no simple one. But we need to understand this, that once God is in it, that is what brings the value. If I was going through this alone, then I would say, Lord Jesus Christ, no. But with the fact that God is in it, See, God makes the difference. God makes the difference. And so this is, my, this is my declaration over you. The Lord said to the lepers, go show yourself. Go show yourself. Go show yourself to the priest. And in them walking, every step was a healing. I need everybody to come out, come out of your lowly bar. Come out of that place of disparagement. Do come out of that place. Come out of that place of, it's, I don't think it's going to work. So let me stop here. Be careful of stopping too soon. Because you may stop when you're just at that brink of breakthrough. Let us learn to be grateful. Let us learn to thank God in the small breakthroughs until we get to the bigger one. Because God is wrought in our work in us. You are God's masterpiece created in Christ Jesus unto good works. In the name of Jesus, the Lord said before you were born in your mother's womb. But God, I don't know, Jeremiah. Lord, I don't know how to speak. The Lord said, I'm going to... I'm, Everything that you need to fulfill the purpose, I am working it inside of you. Every trial that you face are signs, signposts of what I'm doing in your life. Hallelujah. We need to stop labeling our attacks as if they're attacks. We need to label our attacks as opportunity. We need to label our attacks as signposts because it is the things that you go through that are signs that God is doing something in you. The things that you go through are signs that God is doing a work 
in you. David, if he had faced a dwarf, he would have never been king. But David fought and David faced a giant that nobody, that everybody else, his brothers were afraid. The very king was afraid. You were called to conquer some things that intimidates others. Because you are qualified to defeat this giant. Oh, David, the one who defeated the bears. You see, the bears and the lions were small victories leading up to this victory. And the Lord is saying, don't despise small beginnings. Because every little step is a signpost of what's to come. And the Lord is saying, when you get there, that's the, the thing that you learn now are the things that are going to keep you. I thank God that he never blessed me overnight because it was the process that shaped my character that helps me to maintain today. It is the things that I learned in the fire that have helped me to maintain today. David had to face a beer. If David never faced a beer, tell the beer to the picture. If David never faced a lion, do you think that David would have gotten the confidence that God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob was able to deliver him? Nah. It was the challenge. It, it was the attacks. It was the oppositions that David faced that built his confidence in the God who delivers. And so when David approached and came up, came up against a bigger giant, David said, the God, hallelujah, who allowed me to defeat the bear and the God who allowed me to defeat the lions is the same God that's going to allow me to whop you. Listen to me. Let me tell you something. Do not trivialize the things you're going through because everything is leading to the next. Hallelujah. Eyes have not seen, nor ear heard, neither have it entered in the hearts of men the things that God is doing for you. Hallelujah to those who love him and are called according to his purpose. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Don't trivialize what's happening. And let me leave this one more thing with you. Don't stop yet. Don't quit yet. Don't quit yet, David. If David had quit at the lion, if David had quit when the lion came against him and said, This is too much. Like Cain, when, 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 when Cain killed his brother and the Lord decided he's going to punish him, Cain said, Cain didn't even, wasn't even regretful, you know, Cain said, this punishment is too big for me. He not even said, Lord, I'm sorry. He said, this punishment is too much for me. Listen, 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 listen. Appreciate the lions. Stop seeing the lions as an attack. Stop seeing everything that is coming against you as an attack. See it as opportunity. Joseph said, you meant it for my demise. You see, you see, a lot of you need to know that the enemy is always on a leash. And the Lord said, he causes all things to work together.